In this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, probability distribution known as geometric distribution. Geometric distribution is a type of distribution in which we uh, try to find uh, the, uh, the number of trials before the first success or uh, the number of trials it takes before we get the first desired outcome. Okay, so in the case of uh, tossing a coin, uh, if you have, uh, if you are continuously uh, doing the toss, uh, we are tossing the coin, and it took us five trials or five times we had to toss the coin before we get hit. Okay, so this is a typical example of geometric distribution. Okay, uh, it's also known as waiting time distribution. That means it uh, models for or it, it uh, gives an idea of how many uh, times one has to wait or how many um, how many uh, uh, exp number of experiment has to be made before we get uh, the desired outcome okay so known as waiting time distribution the probability density function uh, for the uh, geometric distribution is uh, based on the fact that we have to wait for x minus 1 times before we get success at x time Right? Or in other words, if we uh, are getting a uh, success on x plus 1th time, we need to wait for x time. So x is the random variable which takes the number of times we need to wait before we get the actual success. So if we get success when x plus 1th time, we need to wait for x times or x times the experiment has to be uh, in the failure status before we get uh, you know, success. Right? So the probability of getting success is p and uh, we are getting success only once and we are getting failure uh, x minus 1 time right x minus 1 so this is the uh, probability that we will be getting success uh, at x plus 1 time okay i'm really sorry okay this has to be only x okay so the one you can see here okay so p is the probability of getting success 1 minus p is the probability of failure and probability of failure happening x time right uh, before we get success at x plus 1 right so uh, and since this is independent distribution each one of these trials are independent in each other we just multiply them right and uh, that's how the probability distribution uh, is denoted and and when we plot it with uh, different parameters uh, we have only one parameter in this case uh, the parameter the only parameter is the p the probability of success okay and the probability of success can change it can vary right when it's 0.5 the distribution looks something like this when it's 0.1 the distribution something uh, looks something like this okay and the p value can uh, change i'm really sorry it's not 0.5 it's 0 0.05 okay so the distribution will change based on the value of p and that's the only parameter in this case